Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Earthbound with Magic Lorelei. Hello everyone. So yeah, leveling has happened. Pooh is now double what he was before. And Pooh does not have any equipment to show for this. There's a reason for that. In addition to getting, like, no benefit out of all but, I think, two foods from us, Pooh does not get any benefit from equipping most equipment we were run into. He has a very specific set of equipment we have to go find. Oh. It's hidden around the world, and his weapon is actually a rare drop from a fairly tough enemy. Great. That, it will be a while before we see that enemy. But yeah, his the other three are kind of scattered around the world. We may see one of them soon, but not immediately. But anyone who's ever played D&D &D or that um, set of uh, campaigns would probably know that the monk does not generally carry a lot of equipment. Okay. So now, there are the obvious path we've been pointed towards is Scaraba. Mm -hmm. The whole time. We don't want to do that yet. I think we need to go back to Forsyth first, don't you think? Yes, we do. Because we want to talk with the museum guy. Now, the thing is, we need to get into, you know, the area behind mm -hmm. that one guy. Right. Well, remember he said he was a fan of jewelry? The ruby. The ruby. Do you mind if we, uh pot with that. I guess he doesn't really have much of a problem with it because he's already dedicated himself to being Ness's slave. Yep. Problematic, by the way. Just a little bit, yeah. I don't think Pooh will have much to say about any of this. Especially given that Pooh is kind of the only one that is coded as a person of color. Yeah. Oh, the samurai kid. Samurai. He's more of a monk, but okay. Samurai. Will he be giving me the gym just to show you what happens? No. Excuse me? So what he just handed me is not a gym. Ha ha ha. I'm going to really enjoy the cookie that I just got. Yeah, he just filched it off the guy. He just stole it? Yeah, he just took it. Wow. He just yoinked it. Right out of Pooh's inventory. Fuck you! We gone. Jesus Christ. Oh, good, they're moving. Uh-huh. Do you feel like you're really experiencing this great historical period? It's more valuable than a small gem. Ha ha ha! The other day a rich kid came to Summers by helicopter. Mm-hmm. He also took a picture of the hieroglyphs. I got a lot of money from him. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. But I wonder if Pokey has any way to actually decipher the hieroglyphs. Not yet. Yeah. But that's why he took pictures. Mm hmm. The Shattered Man. Shattered Man, yeah. Well. What? And. Who kind of falls into a cross between a monk and a red mage. Ah, uh, yeah. Because he actually gets a fairly wide array of spells. Which kind of makes sense. Mm hmm <sighs> Excuse me. Nice. Having two people with Psy Freeze is going to be incredibly useful. I'm seeing this. Double the chance to solidify bosses, basically. You remember solidify, right? Yeah, where it just kind of stopped them from moving for a turn? Yeah. Yeah, that's Freeze. a nice side effect of that particular spell. And with any small amount of luck whatsoever, We can essentially stun lock just about anything that isn't completely immune to the freeze. That's pretty damn cool. We just gotta have the magic points to be able to keep casting it. Mm-hmm. 
Magic points? I think you mean psychic points. Something like that. Who read the hieroglyphics? Mm-hmm. Hieroglyphs. To, to fight, fight against the invaders. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. To fight against the invaders, we built this pyramid fortress. However, our efforts were futile, and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid was protected by the gods of Scaraba. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. Even now, the invader invaders hide behind beyond space and time and built their evil stronghold. A place out of time is beyond the dark and even farther beyond the lost underworld. The deep darkness is shrouded. It is without light. Only one with the hawk eye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now watches over everything waiting for the coming of a truly brave hero. Four, three, two, five. Dot. Yeah. I'm sure that'll come in useful later. Dance in front of the Sphinx. Yeah. The pyramid is the key. Well... Do you feel like you're really experiencing? Okay, go fuck yourself. So that's interesting. Invaders. I'm guessing that means aliens. Yep. But as we leave... Here's a picture of the hieroglyphs just for you. Mm-hmm. It's a reward for studying so hard. Thanks! Yep. Use it in your human civilization class. Yeah, sure. That's, that's what's important to Ness right now. Class. But yeah, just in case we need that repeated, we have a physical copy of it with us. That's so we nice. can, you know, at any time we can go in and look and see just what this thing said. That's actually pretty useful. Yes. Especially with that funky little code that was sitting there. Mm. There's a phone call coming in. I guess we should answer it, huh? I mean, it's not our place, but... Yeah. Is this Mr. Fork of the Scarab Cultural Museum? It doesn't sound like you. Well, I'll quickly tell you my story, because I'm busy, busy, busy! I found something so extraordinary that mere words cannot do it justice. What do you mean, who am I? Did you recognize my voice? It's me, Mr. Spoon. Okay, Fork and Spoon. Mm-hmm. From the Foreside Museum of Natural History. I'm not exaggerating this find. I'm telling you. It's fantastic! It's outrageous! Okay. Thanks. And again, I like to kind of imagine he actually went beep. Yes. So just in case you didn't catch the uh, implication before, now you got a reminder. Hey, foresight is kind of important. Besides, we do kind of need to finish up at foresight. Because there was at least one thing there that we didn't really get to look at too much. Mm-hmm. And that was that area behind that one shop. Behind the department store, yeah. And away we go. Yeah, that teleport costs eight points. So, you know, double the, uh... Or quadruple the price of the other. But, you know, much, much more easy to use. So just be mindful of probably Pooh's yeah. PP. But then again, you always, if you always keep a bottle of water with you. Yeah. And we've been here before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. We've got $20,000 on us. Yeah. I should probably deposit that after I get to a certain point here. Probably. But I'm going to keep needing it. These people have not changed. You want to know about something extraordinary? I guess so. Hmm. You know, there's a new singer named Venus at the Tapola Theater. Mm-hmm. Could you bring me her autograph on an eraser? Why? Why an eraser? Like, I could even almost understand getting her autograph, but why on an eraser? I don't know. Oh, you can get her autograph on anything. Don't worry about the eraser. I don't care if the autograph is written on toilet paper. But you specifically say yeah, eraser. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But he doesn't care that deeply. He just wants the uh, 
wants the autograph. So I guess we should go talk to Venus, huh? I guess. Considering we did help out her friends. Yeah, I imagine she might be interested. Yeah, the Runaway Five are her friends. Yeah. So let's see. We need... First, we need a ticket. Because we can't get in there without a ticket. Sure. Why not? I'm going to deposit most of this. I don't think a 12, 13 year old kid needs to be carrying $20,000 on their person. No, probably not. Yes? Much more reasonable sum of $161. Very soft meowing is Zelda, by the way. <laughs> so with the ticket in hand, and the ability to actually hit the hitbox of the freaking door. Hmm. We've got him. Oh, right. We have to show it to you. Yep. They say any moment, but let me guess, it's... Moving at the speed of plot, yeah. So let's see if you have anything new to say. Life is money. I've lived that life. You can buy everything but love, friendship, and experience points. With enough money, you can at least prepare yourself to make experience points, though. Yeah. So let's catch another show. Sure. And this oh, is just someone in the audience. Oh, baby, baby, baby! Don't make me hurt so bad. These guys are all stone cold gone for you. Ow, you cute, sexy thing, you. Baby, sing to me, sing to me only. Baby, Venus! Just sing and I can die. Ha you know, the fact that this is probably all one person. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's the crowd. Yeah, but I'm just picturing one person. Yeah. Boo-hoo-hoo, Venus, sob sob. I guess she's pretty. So her individual act is very different. Mm-hmm. Little softer blues. Is that her singing? Yeah. Well, limitations of the time. Mm-hmm. Not too bad, actually. We could always go for the Final Fantasy VI opera noises. Is that the scientist? No. She oh. is very sparkly. I was gonna just gonna say she's very sparkly. You know they didn't even give us lyrics on screen. No. Well, this is a nice extended sequence. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, sir. Sir. And she's still singing. Yep. Thank you. Security! <laughs> All right, security. Please show up on stage now. I'm guessing she has to deal with that fairly regularly. <laughs> Happens a lot. But she is a pro. Hi, cat. And while she doesn't leave via having her tr having a van drive on stage and pick her up, she just leaves to the backstage. Well, that's the option that makes sense. Hi, Dad. 
<laughs> At least he waited until the end of the performance. Yep. That's nice of him. All right, well. Ah, you're a friend of the Runaway Five. Did you come see Miss Venus? Come inside quickly. Don't let the other fans see you go in. Especially that crazy guy that rushed the stage. Yeah. Oh, you want an autograph? Okay, I'll give you my autograph on this banana peel. Here you go. So we caught her, she was finishing lunch or dinner, apparently. Yeah. Ness got the sign banana. Oh, and this is a bonus. Oh, oh, and this is a bonus. Mm -hmm. See, I like to envision it. Oh, this is a bonus. <laughs> Sorry. I just had a cat jump up on the bed and then immediately run from the room again. And then immediately come back in. Hello again. <laughs> so now we have the guy, the signature the guy wants. Mm hmm So sadly, we have to pay the entrance fee again. Yeah. See, we try to walk by and, you know. For those of you who have the cats that crave attention but don't want to tell you, or don't want to cooperate with you. Hey, dude. Do I have to give it to you or? Oh, if you can get her autograph on anything, yeah. Okay, well, here's a banana peel. Signed banana. Signed banana peel. You got it! Yep. Yep. Yeah, it does. Now for my promise. Great. Light shining from far, far below the manhole. There, Is that what you call found it? a huge monster rat. Oh, is this a sanctuary place? Get in there, yeah. I'm not trying to pull your leg. I'll let you go there and check it for yourself. Yeah, he leaves us to deal with the huge monster rat. Of course he does, because he's an adult. We all know that children are expendable. This is great. I love that we're going into the fucking sewers. Yep. Does this Obligatory mean have... sewer level. Ew, the roach. Oh, God. Oh. The filthy attack roach. Oh. Can it poison you? No. That would Not make that I know sense. Of. Wow, you're a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, unintentional pun. He attacked Pooh. Yep. <laughs> oh no, Pooh! You're a piece of shit! Uh, not you, Pooh. Now there are a bunch of items in here. And they are good items, don't get me wrong. But I think I'm just going to make a beeline for the actual boss. Because once we finish off the boss, then all the enemies in here will run from us and we won't have to fight nearly as much. Mm. And I'd rather not lose the war of attrition. Yeah. And unfortunately, we move kids. very slowly through, you know, the muck here. Oh, muck. muck. Yeah, muck is the word for it. Yes. Muck but is yes, the we're having to word. crawl through sewage. These poor fucking kids. I'm pretty sure they did not ask for this. No. They do not deserve this. Nope. I mean, at least Pooh, we know, has no problems with this. I mean... He feels he, right at home. He is with his... one with his mind. Yeah. But Pooh feels right at home in the sewer. Right. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to. 
Just to reduce the chances of it being a really long fight or, yeah. as you put it, a fight of attrition. Mm-hmm. Stinky ghost. Because that stinky ghost takes like 20 points of damage at a time from any physical attacks. Mouse, on the other hand, we can beat to death. Or beat to no. tameness. Beat to tameness. Yeah. We don't beat things to death here, except for the things that apparently can die. And that door actually leads to a butterfly point. Cool. So this could be a point for grinding, too, if you need Could be, it. yeah. But I would prefer not to grind in the sewer. Right. Well... Understandably. Oh, no. <sighs> Jeff is solid. Oh, mm -hmm. is he okay now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. being solidified is just, it's one turn worth of, you skip one turn, basically. Right. Nice. New level of Psy Sands. Very nice. Unfortunately, that new level is a very expensive magic spell. Forty points to use the thing. Nice. So we will not be using the thing here. I mean, I imagine it could be useful, but probably not going to be needed at this point. No. Pooh! I think Pooh might need a heal. Yeah, and he's not as bad off. He only ticked about 40 points off before we ended the fight. Yeah. Ah. Garbage. Yep. Unfortunately, they're still loading everything down here, so... Oh, he didn't have any side points left. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. So yeah, we're getting a lot of experience down here. Do you want to restore his, uh... Yeah, I think I need to go back to that point. Which means I'm going to do that off-camera. Yeah. You know, pretty decent stop spot to stop the video. We're actually close to being done with the sewers here, believe it or not. I believe it. The They're not very the long. They are not very long, thankfully. But anyway, next time, we will get through and find out what the guy actually saw down next here. Next time, Ness and Pooh make his... Hope to see you then. Later on.